everyone, and welcome to Deeply Rooted. I'm your host, Robin Norgren, and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. The older I get, the more that I realize that community really is where everything starts to fall into place, and that the goal of life is not to have any problems, although that's what we would hope is to never have any problems, but it's just to walk alongside each other, cheer each other on, say it out loud when things aren't fair, and just be there for each other. So that being said, I am really so glad that we're here for each other. Thoughts for my art journal. I've drawn a bird sitting quietly against a blue, blue sky. And I wrote these words. As she took the time to reflect on the way her life was coming together, She knew it is well. Carol Franco is quoted as saying, I'm learning to be quiet with myself. The view is clearer through the stillness. It is not always easy to be still waiting for the answers that only come from the quiet, letting our hearts and our minds settle, not making a decision too quickly, not giving the immediate answer. Think about a decision that you made where you reaped valuable benefits from taking that time to let the decision marinate a bit. Today's imaginative prayer exercise focuses on God as mother. You are an infant lying in your tiny crib, waking suddenly in the night, you feel frightened and begin to cry. Your body tenses up. You're alone and disoriented. You don't know what's wrong, but you cry because something is. Feel your frustration, fear, and helplessness. A soft voice comes out of the darkness and gentle hands pick you up. Hush, my baby. Mommy's here. Your body begins to relax as your mother sings over you and rocks you back and forth, back and forth. Your tears stop and you snuggle into the warmth of your mother's arms. Your worries and fears are gone now. Nothing concerns you. There's nothing you need. Rest in the arms of your mother, your head pressed against her chest. You hear the rhythmic beating of her heart and feel her chest gently rising and falling with each breath she takes. You're completely safe and perfectly loved.
as you continue to rest. Gently change your perspective. This is not your physical mother who rocks and holds you so lovingly. This is God, your mother. God, the life giver and nurturer, holding you gently, enveloping you in love. God, your mother, wipes your tears and smiles while gazing into the beautiful face of her beloved child. Rest in the arms of your mother. Rest in the arms of God. Here's some things to think about. What's it like for you to consider God as a mother? How does that feel for you? What happens when you picture yourself as a distressed baby? How does it feel to be picked up, held, and comforted by God, your mother. What happens when you picture God singing to you and smiling with delight when she looks into your face? Share your thoughts and your feelings with God in these next few moments. Listen for the song God sings over you. So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Diary of a Creative Entrepreneur, February 2nd. Faced our first rain potentially in the outdoor environment as we practice using the canopies as an option during lunch. It doesn't really address the, rin, the wind and rain combo, and I will definitely need some kind of rain gear to protect myself from the elements, because I was informed that going indoors would not be an option. I started editing what I think will become my first PDF for my email option list. 
I completed the cover art for the YouTube videos and completed a reel on the art kits. Definitely feeling the disappointment of 30 days of doing something consistently and no real return on the investment, though my TPT store had a decent January. I am putting the documents together for the lender and, and Mike's Valentine's present, the Arizona Highways Magazine subscription arrived. Ordered Josie a gift as well. She asked for Crocs. February 3rd. Groundhog Day was incredibly blustery and cold and the sun didn't start warming the classroom until about 1145 which made for a miserable morning. The co-teacher called in sick. The replacement complained most of the time. She was actually supposed to be the one I alternated with when I was hired, so she would have had to work in this type of weather at least two weeks of the month. And we are now crunched for ratio because we now have two-year-olds in the classroom. Somehow I pushed through and managed to still do both the STEM project and the art project with the students plus a movement game. But when I left, I could have spent the afternoon crying. I gathered up more tax info and sent them to the lender and created two more YouTube videos. And then I finally finished bookkeeping for the business. I cleared close to 35K. Now that is something to take notice, notice of. That curriculum sales and the rest of what I'm doing really is starting to come together. February 4th. A quote meeting, unquote, yesterday about the outdoor classroom is, is beginning. And as I'm listening, I realize, oh, they actually don't like the setup. Quote from the co-teacher, kids don't seem to want to go outside. And also... It's too stressful to just have one person covering the walkie-talkie. So I came home and kind of spiraled, told my brain to stop coming up with more ideas and work the ones that I have so I can have an exit strategy that will actually work. YouTube channel, art kits, art journal kits, lesson plans. I've invested quite a lot this year in business coaching. Marisa Cummings, Eric Thomas, Daniel Laporte, Creative Craft Club, and now I'm starting to transition onto Facebook again, which has been something that I'm dreading but realize in order to market the business, it has to be done. Well, thank you so much for stopping by, my friends. And if you are wondering how to support this little creative entrepreneur that you've been following along on blogs and on this podcast and possibly even on Instagram, um, here's some ways you can do it. You can sponsor my, my uh, podcast. You can uh, buy my art kits and art journaling kits and sewing kits over on Etsy. You can support me in the Patreon community. And um, yeah, you can spread the word about what I do. <laughs> the most easiest thing to do would be to spread the word about what I do. Um, and also to consider... Um, subscribing to my channel on YouTube uh, because when I get to a thousand subscribers I will start to get advertising which we all hate but at least you don't have to pay for it. <laughs>
So I am now at close to 400 subscribers. I need to get to 1,000. And so again, another way to just very easily support the work that I do. Um, truly do appreciate it. And thanks so much for stopping by.